letters. Love letters to Kelly. I forgot which one I was doing, and I remember now. <laughs> Dear Kelly, you are the love expert. I am. Garrett writes, Kelly, I recently witnessed a good friend pass away in front of me. It's been an extremely hard time for me. I constantly see the wreck when I close my eyes. My fiance recently told me that it's starting to affect her because I haven't been as, as, as affectionate and I'm uninterested in laundry. Do you have any advice for me? I don't want my fiance to struggle just because I am. Please help me. Yeah, you need to talk to somebody. You need to go to a therapist yeah. and get this out because this you know, dealing with grief and the tra I mean you saw it in front to of actually you? see it happen in front of you, that's traumatic. Yeah. So I would highly encourage you to talk to a professional that's that's you know whose expertise is grief counseling. Yeah. Right? That's rough, they, man. they do have people that are that's their specialty. Just ask around, and I'm sure, or, or go to if you don't know who to ask, go to your church. Um, a lot of times, that's when you lean on your faith. People that you know don't practice it 365 days yeah. a year when you need it, it's there, right? So yeah. perhaps going back to church. But yeah, it's something you definitely need to work on and mourn the loss. And I know your friend would want you to go on and live a happy and fulfilled life, and that would include, you know, maybe, was it a fiance? Uh, the girlfriend, Beyonce? yeah, or a girlfriend, fiance, yeah. So I'm sure your friend would want that for you. So just please get help. That's what you need to do. Yeah, and it's okay to not feel okay when these oh, things yeah. happen. Oh, so don't, don't feel but like when it starts affecting your quality of life. Yeah, it's time to get help. There you go. Love letters, love letters to Kelly. Dear Kelly, you are the love expert. I am. I have a I have a work relationship with this guy who is nine years younger. He's 28. I'm 37. We did laundry. It was very casual, casual laundry. Now I feel like he's hinting that he wants more, but his approach is way off. Do I want a fling? Maybe. I don't know. It seemed pretty convenient, but he said, I didn't think that you would date me or marry me, so I want to keep my options open. Do I want to try to lock in this young guy? I have a child, and I just scheduled to have my tubes tied. I think we're in different places in life. I'd like to date him. I just don't think it was an. I just didn't think it was an option. I think he feels the same. I just don't know. I'm confused. Am I, am I overthinking this? Yeah, you're overthinking it. Just cross that off your list. If you really want to find a serious relationship, he ain't it. He's even telling you he ain't it. He just wants a casual hookup every once in a while. And hey, if that's where you are in life and that makes you feel good <laughs> about yourself, I don't know. Some people can do that and don't even they yeah. have no guilt attached. But I'll tell you this. I think it's it's true more so for women than for men. There's some chemistry, biological thing that goes on inside your body. And when you're having lots of laundry with someone, you may think it's casual. You may think, oh, I can just... Hit it and quit it. It's fine. Right. Women start to develop emotional attachments. And suddenly you're going to find yourself what you think is falling in love with this young thing who was just like, oh, my gosh, I just wanted to have fun every once in a while. I didn't looking for a commitment. And then you're going to get your heart broken. So I would just say, you know what? Billy or whatever his name is. Billy, probably yeah. Billy. Billy. Billy, I just think maybe moving forward we should just keep things professional. <laughs> and I wish you, I wish you luck. Mm. Mm. I wish you joy. How about one last? Yeah, but, uh, I yeah. wish you happy. One last little nope. loop, loop, loop de loop. Nope, because it might happen, you know. Come on, Billy. You know. Women, it's just it's true. You think oh, I'm 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 casual. I can do it. You start getting feelings. Oh. Guys will too, though. Those uh, guys will catch yeah, feelings. Not as much. They call yeah. him casual not as Billy. Often. Casual Billy. Casual Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Having a good time at work. Casual you know? Bill. Oh man. Love letters. Love letters to Kelly. Dear Kelly, you are the love expert. I am. I've been dating a guy for two months now, and I really like him. He met my friends for the first time the other week, and they even told me that they've never seen me this excited about a guy. So here's the problem that I have. One of the friends that he met that night is a guy who me and my friends have known since way back in college, and I actually used to date him. He's in a happy relationship, and he's close friends with all of my close friends' as husbands now. I haven't told the guy that I'm dating now that I have a past with this guy, mainly because it, wasn't, it isn't significant anymore and there's no unresolved feelings. But I worry that if I don't tell him, it might get brought up in passing someday and then he'll take it by surprise and look like I'm hiding it. Kelly, should I tell him? And if so, how do I bring this up? Well, if you don't, you're making it a big deal, right? right. You're making it a big deal. So it, it, I think you need to say something because if you don't and he finds out, he's like, well, why didn't you tell me? And then suddenly it's a big deal. 
because yeah. you were ob- yeah. what you would have told me if you didn't still have some feelings, you know, or something like that. So I would just tell him before any more time passes. Right. Um, hey, me and, and you know what? Bill if he, hooked up a couple of times. If he has a problem with it, you can address it at that point and write me another letter. But you know, men do get kind of territorial, and he yeah. might he might be like. I don't want to hang around that not guy Not wanting to much. hang out with that guy anymore. Like, I'm not going to hate him, but I don't want him around exactly. all the time. Yeah. Exactly. Or I want to exclude myself. Yeah. So you run that risk, and that's okay. You can do things with friends separately, and you might have to make a choice. He might be the kind of guy that he's so territorial, he's going to make you make a choice, and then you have to make one. But I would tell him. That's, that's just me. Yeah. Put it out there on the table. Out. Yeah. Somebody's going somebody's gonna to spill the But the, the bigger beans. deal you make it is... You know, don't make it a big deal. And you know how it happens, Kelly? It's always when you guys are out drinking and one of your friends will be like, remember when you and so used to yeah. hook oh, up? Yeah. And then your boyfriend's going to be like, what? While alcohol's involved. Well, oh, yeah. It's going to be yeah. real bad. Hey, does she bad. still do that thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Whoa, dude, no. 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 <laughs> oh, wow. Hopefully wow. that does not happen. No. But yeah, definitely tell. <laughs> love letters. Love letters to Kelly. Dear Kelly, you are the love expert. I am. Back in November, I cheated. We had been together for 10 months, nothing physical, but emotionally, texts and pictures. It was an old friend and we were going to the movies. Nothing was ever going to happen, but I got caught. I was upfront and never lied about anything and gave my boyfriend all the information that he asked. Fast forward. We're still roommates and have a good friendship and keep things cordial. This has messed me up because it was something I've always told myself I would never do and I felt destroyed. I did a lot of work on myself to heal and come to be in a better place. Since the breakup, we have done laundry several times. He originally told me that he could never be together like that because he has trust issues. I can't stop thinking about him and being with him and I recently asked him if we could get back together. He told me it's a lot to think about. That was five days ago. How long does one need? Should I just officially move on i really do love him and i don't want to do this whole friends with benefits because that's not where i am emotionally with him i'm 32 years old and this is my first serious relationship oh well see that's that's the thing is you're having a deal these are emotions that you figure out you know the cheating and the in high school learning lessons yes (laughs) when you have relationships later in life dating wise socially you're still a teenager Right? You're still taking yeah. your baby steps. You're learning. You're, you're, you're doing the learning. learning thing. So this is kind of confusing to me, this whole letter. So she is was living with her boyfriend. That's a guy. Oh, a guy? A Nicholas. Is, is okay. a gay couple? Yes. Okay. So you were living together as a couple, but you cheated. And now you're still with the ex-boyfriend as roommates, is yes. what I'm gathering. Mm-hmm. And it was emotional cheating, nothing physical, right? Yeah, just text messages and photos. Mm. Okay. I mean... I would that whole friends with benefits thing it messes with your head so either you have to just either two of you have to decide we're in or we're out because keeping one you know foot in and one foot out you're never going to move forward it's going to be in this state of flux Mm -hmm. um it possibly he's late to the game because maybe he didn't come out of the closet until later in life so Mm. maybe there's that that aspect of it so i don't know Mm. i don't know how to address that i've never been gay but um I do know that you just haven't had a lot of experience, so you're just learning. Now, what you do, you've done the work on yourself, and you've taken this as a lesson learned. You learned that you don't want to ever do this again, and that's great. Right. That's a good life lesson, and don't beat yourself up anymore over it. But if this, if your boyfriend's telling you or your ex-boyfriend's telling you, I can't get past it, then you're going to have to move on. And yeah, they're being, they're being honest with you. <laughs> yeah, they're being honest with you. But, you know, that if you continue to have a relationship with him it's just messing with your head so do a little bit more work on yourself and learn your lesson and don't take that into the next relationship did it say how he got caught uh no it doesn't say but he did get caught got caught 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 probably i guess you owned up to it so that was a good step but man um if you want to write our love expert you could do so at lovelerskelly.com we do this on mondays and wednesdays again and there's also a podcast kid nation so don't forget about that now, today's episode of Love Letters to Kelly was sponsored by our friends at, at Legacy, Legacy Box. Box. Yes, we got it right. <laughs> make sure we got that right. So if you had order Legacy Box on your to-do list for a while now, check that off today. You know, when I was a little girl, my daddy, every once a year, because mm-hmm. it was a, a big production, he would take out that screen and set it up, yep. get out the film projector. We'd invite a, Aunt, Aunt Velma and Uncle Herb over and all my cousins, and we'd watch family movies. Uncle Herb? How's Uncle Herb yes, doing? Yes, he passed away. Oh, wow. I'm so you sorry. ask that every time. <laughs> 
it was a big deal, you know. But a couple of decades later, the, the film projectors long gone, and Daddy realized I need to save these memories, so he transferred them to VHS tapes. Oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> so then, a couple, you know, technology <laughs> continues to march on, and then suddenly I have all these VHS tapes that I can't watch because I don't have a VCR. So that's when I ordered my Legacy Box, and you should do the same. You just preserve your memories now for a lifetime and your children's lifetime, your grandchildren's lifetime. So gather up all those tapes, maybe a box full of slides you stumbled across, pictures that are starting to yellow and fade. Send them to our friends at Legacy Box. Their team will professionally digitize everything by hand. You'll get back the originals, plus those memories preserved on a thumb drive or a cloud you can enjoy for years and decades to come. It's like magic. You're going to love Legacy Box, and you can save 50% right now if you go to LegacyBox.com slash slash kid get started preserving your past at legacybox.com slash kid that's legacybox.com slash kid tomorrow on the kid craddock morning show you ask us the question does that make me crazy at 720 central and we're sending another family to the space coast and cocoa beach with our florida family flyaway sign up now at kidnation.com and listen for your name at 740 central Plus, part-time Justin is going to be turning up your Tuesday at 820 Central. Oh, yeah. That's tomorrow. On the Kid Craddock Morning Show. On the Kid Craddock Morning Show. Over.